In this video, we're going to see how we can set up reference image for modeling. So when I'm talking about reference image, those are the kind of image you're going to use. Especially this one, for example, which is going to be used as a model, as a reference. You just put it in the front view, then we can model it following the image and create the shape. So you need to go in one view other than perspective. So let's go to the front view and then you'll go to option configure shift V in, and here in the attribute manager we go to the back panel and then we can load an image here so I can just load the image whatever I want or better yet you can just use Windows Explorer or the finder on Mac and drag and drop your image there you can see it's going to work the image is loaded so please note that doesn't work on the perspective view as you can see the image cannot be seen and cannot be rendered and you won't be able to drag and drop anything there so if i try you can see it don't it doesn't work if i go to the top view i, I can't do it okay and now I have the same view there and there. So to correct that, let's go to the option, configure for the top view, as you can see, I will just disable here the show picture. Now let's go back to the front view. When here on the front view, you can change the size like that. You can offset your image. You can rotate it. Okay, that's all very easy. If you want to model following a real size, 800 is a size in centimeter. So if our banana is just 20 centimeter long, you just have to type 20. And then it's going to scale down accordingly. And here we are with our banana at the right scale. So let's go back to the original size. Here, the mode is just going to determine the crispness of your image. So if you're going to zoom a lot on it here between the linear and nearest, you can see nearest, we can see the pixel. So I don't know if you can see them with the compression of the video, but it's there. So let's go back to linear. Let's zoom out. Here, the transparency is going to allow us to have something more visible like that so it will be easier if you're going to use for example the spline pen tool you can see i know what i'm going whereas so shift v again to go to the viewport with the 100 percent transparency it's going to be a bit difficult to see your spline you even have alpha mode here which is not going to work on the obviously it's a jpeg but if I change this image with another one, so let's fetch, for example, here the PNG. I'm going to put this one here. Then I will have the option here, alpha mode, to switch to normal. And you can see it works. Okay, so just please note that this image won't be rendered. So if I hit here, render, I don't see anything. It only exists uh, here in the front view. It's not there on the top, on the right, and perspective view. And if you want to have um, a reference image like that, uh, and to you want to see it during the rendering, you will need to use the background image. But I will skip that because that's not the subject. If you really want to use reference image, you're going to use that. In the next video, we'll see there is another way, which is a bit more cumbersome, but works very well if you want to have your reference image seen in the front viewport, but also on the other viewport and the perspective viewport.
for the top view as you can. When here on the front view, you can change. You can rotate. That's all very easy. 800 is...